Test your knowledge, communication systems framework. Now, the following five questions aimed at targeting your understanding of the communication systems framework, which is a part of the communications unit of the IPT course. So let's have a look at these five questions. List the three levels of the communication systems framework. At what point of the framework is a message created? What is an example of hardware that may be used to accomplish this? Question three, explain what is happening when data is encoded and decoded. Question four, explain what occurs at the transmission layer of the communication systems framework. And question five, draw the communication systems framework. Now, I encourage you to pause your video here and at 50 seconds, we'll start going over the answers. Okay, so the first question, list the three levels of the communication systems framework. Basically, they are the application level, where the message is both created and read, the communication control and addressing level, where the message is encoded before transmission and decoded after transmission, and the transmission level, where the actual data is sent, the message is being sent from device to device between the transmitter and the receiver. Question two, at what point of the framework is the message created? What is an example of hardware that may be used to accomplish this? Well, the message is created at the source stage at the application level of the communication systems framework. The source may be a device such as a mobile phone or a laptop that allows the user to physically create the message by either speaking or typing into that actual hardware. And so that's how the message gets created. Question three, explain what is happening when data is encoded and decoded. Well, encoding involves converting a message into packets of data, then attaching the receiver's IP address so it knows where to go, and then applying error detection for the transmission through the TCP protocol, the transmission control protocol, which lets the actual sender know that the data was received correctly. Decoding is obviously the opposite process, where the data packets are reverted back into their readable message form, and the TCP protocol is then tested on the receiver's end, okay, to ensure that no errors took place. Question four, explain what occurs at the transmission layer of the communication systems framework. Well, essentially, this is where the communication systems framework actually physically sends the data between the transmitter and the receiver. So it's basically the transmitter of the source and the receiver of the destination, okay, through and going through network hardware, such as switches and routers. It uses either an Ethernet or token ring protocol, and that's pretty much based on the topology being used on that network. And then the final question, question five, draw the communication systems framework. Well, basically, let's have a quick rehash here. Okay, we have our application level first, and we start off, as mentioned in one of our questions, where the participants and users access the system. Okay, and we start off with the source. The source then encodes the message okay, into data packets, for them then to be sent at the transmission level via the transmitter, which goes through a medium and by hardware, both switches and routers, depending on the type of network being used. It is then eventually received by the receiver of the destination, okay, which then decodes it at the communication control and the addressing level. And then the destination is then able to view and read the message basically the participant and user can access the data. So I hope this helps illustrate how a message is created at a source and essentially the path it follows to end up at its intended destination. So I hope this all these five questions have helped you understand the communication systems framework a bit better and basically some of the more technical side related to them all and understanding what's going on at each stage of the communication systems framework. Hope you got five out of five.